Welcome to Atish Education. Today we are going to learn how to solve problem set 35. Before we start, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Our question is, determine whether the pairs of numbers was given below are co-prime numbers. Here we have 8 questions. means 8 pairs of numbers and we have to determine whether they are co-prime or not. So co-prime numbers are numbers which have only one as a common factor. We learned it in our last video. So first of all we have to write the factors of given pairs and then we have to find out common factors between them so can we determine whether they are co-prime or not so let's solve our first question here 22 and 24 first of all to determine whether they are co-prime numbers or not we have to write the factors of 22 and 24 so let's write here our factors for 22 we know that each and every number have one as factor then it have two then it comes in 11 stable and 22 stable so the factors of 22 are 1 2 11 and 22 now let's write the factors of 24 here first factor is 1 then it has 4 in the unit place so it is in the table of 2 then it is in the table of 3 3 8 are 24 Mm, 4 is the factor of 24 then 6 is also the factor of 24 8 is also a factor of 24 here then 12 12 2 is a 24 and 24 1 is a 24 so the factors of 24 are 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 and 24 we have to write all factors so can we find out correct common factors here common factors let's find here common number between these two numbers are 1 then we can see 2 is also common here 2 and there's nothing so common factors are only 2 1 and 2 to determine whether it is co-prime number we have to remember our co-prime numbers definition that is numbers which have only one as a common factor are known as co-prime numbers so here we have two common factors they are 1 and 2 if only one number is comes then we can say that this pair is a co-prime number pair but now this is not a co-prime numbers now we can say that these are not co-prime numbers let's write here because it have more than one common factor because co-prime numbers have only one as a common factor and here 22 and 24 have two common factors and they are 1 and 2 so these are not co-prime numbers Now, our second question is 14 and 21. 
Let's write the factors of 14 first. 14's factors are 1, then each have 2 as a factor, then 7 to the 14 and 14 ones are 14. Now 21 have 1, 3, 7 and 21 as a, as a factors. So let's find out here common factors between 14 and 21. Common factors is equal to our first common factor is 1 here. Let's write here 1. Then we find 7 as a common factor here. Here we have two common factors 1 and 7. So this pair is also not a co-prime number. So we can write here 14 and 21 are not co-prime numbers. Now our third question is 10 and 33 Here, let's write the factors of 10 first. 10's factors are 1, 2, 5 and 10. And 33's factors are 1, then it comes in 11's table. 11, 3 is a 33 and 33 ones are 33. Now let's find out common factors here. Common factors is equal to 1 is our first common factor. Right here 1. Then observe both numbers. We cannot find more common factors here. So here we get only 1 as a common factor. So we can say that 10 and 33 are co-prime numbers because they have only one as a common factor. Pair which have only one as a common factor, number one as a common factor, that pair is known as co-prime number sphere. So here our third pair is co-prime number sphere. Now fourth question. It is 11 and 30. Let's write the factors of 11 first. 11 have only two factors because it, it is a prime number. 1 and 11. And 30 have 1 2 then it comes in 3 stable also 5 6 10 15 and 30 these are the factors of 30 so let's find here common factors between 11 and 30 common factors are look here only one we can find as a common factor here. So, we can say that 11 and 30 are co-prime numbers. Look, it's very easy. Now, our fifth question. Only you have to recite the definition of co-prime numbers. Fifth question is 5 and 7. Now let's write the 5's factors first. 5 have only 2 factors 1 and 5. And 7's factors are also 2, 1 and 7. Both are prime numbers. So let's find out common factors here. 
common factors are only one number we find as a common factor here so this pair this pair is also a co-prime number pair so we can write here 5 and 7 are co-prime numbers Now our sixth question, the question is 15 and 16, 15 factors are 1, 3, 5 and 15, then 16 factors are 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16 now let's find common factors here common factors are 1 we find only 1 as a common factor here so we can say that these are co-prime numbers 15 and 16 are co-prime numbers now seventh question the question is 50 and 52 here we have to write the factors of 50 first first factor is 1 second factor is 2 then it comes in 5 stable then 10 15 5 so 50 25 to the 50 and 51 so 50 these are the factors of 50 now let's write the factors of 52 here 52 have 1 as a core factor here then 2 then it have 4 13, 26, and 52. Now, so to find here common factors, common factors are, we can see here 1 as a common, then 2, only 1 and 2. These two numbers we find as a common factor. So we can say that 50 and 52 are not co-prime numbers because they have more than one fact common factor. Now eighth question. This is our last question. 17 and 18 let's find the factors of 17 first 17 have only two factors because it is a prime number 1 and 17 and 18 have 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 Now find out the common factors. Let's practice it very well so you can find it very easy and recite the definition of co-prime numbers. Only one we find as a common factor here. So we can say that 17 and 18 are co-prime numbers. Here our second terms first chapter is complete. Hope you will understand about co-prime numbers. Practice it very well. Take more examples 
at your own choice and practice it. You can find it very easy. In our book on page number 50, they give us prime, all prime numbers between 1 to 100 by Eratosthenes method. Read it carefully. 1 is a unique number so they put a square around it and all the numbers which have circle around them they are prime numbers and numbers which have strikes they are composite numbers so read this table write it in your notebook paste it in paste it on the wall where you study and observe it daily to remember the prime numbers between 1 to 100. 1 is neither a prime number nor a composite number. 1 is a unique number. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you in next video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.